thank you for joining us. So today I thought we would focus a little bit more on bringing conscious awareness to the breath in our practice. Since we've been hanging out in this COVID world for a few years, part of what this virus does is it really impacts the breath, it really impacts the lungs. So perhaps we can when we create a little bit more awareness with breath practices, we can create more of a resilience with our lungs. So this is just a little bit of it. Um, you can certainly investigate further more pranayama practices. It's a good idea to get you know, supervision with some of this, but you can start off simply. And we've done a bit in the past, so it's not a completely foreign idea. So um, let's begin. So we'll just come again to lying on our back first. We're going to focus on the three dimensions of breathing. So, and you can use your hands to help you with your awareness. So you can bring your hands to your rib cage when you inhale and widen through the side body here and then when you exhale you can feel it go more into the center here and so when you inhale the breath widens out through the side body and when you exhale it narrows in towards the center line and again inhale widen your breath out to the side body and then exhale, let it all narrow in towards the center. And then if you can bring a hand to your top of your head and your tailbone, or you can put it down under your sacrum if you'd like, um, you wanna feel the length of your breath. So when you inhale, see if you can feel yourself lengthen between the head and the tail. And when you exhale, it shortens towards center. When you inhale, you lengthen the breath into the head and the tail. And when you exhale, it shortens into the center. And then when you inhale, you lengthen it again. And when you exhale, it shortens to the center. And then the third dimension is the uh, front and back. So you can put a hand on your chest, on your rib cage. You, can, you wanna put one behind you and in front of you. So when you inhale, you really bulge the body. So the body bulges into the back, into the front. And when you exhale, it hollows into the center. And then when you inhale, it bulges into your front and back of your body. And when you exhale, it hollows into the center. And then when you inhale, it bulges front and back body. And when you exhale, it hollows into the center. We're gonna put them together so that you can feel that three dimensionality. So when you inhale, you wanna lengthen, widen, bulge. When you exhale, you wanna narrow, shrink, and hollow. Inhale, lengthen, widen, bulge. Exhale, you want to narrow and shorten and hollow. And if you want to, you can add a little movement to it with your hands to feel that you're breathing into all three dimensions. And then we'll start to add a, a little bit of counting. We're gonna um, 
start with a four count breath and then we're going to gradually try to bring it into six count breath. So when you inhale, inhale on one, two, three, four. Exhale on one, two, three, four. Inhale on one, two, three, four. Exhale on one, two, three, four. Now see if you can add it to five. Inhale on one, two, three, four, five. Exhale on one, two, three, four, five. Inhale on one, two, three, four, five. Exhale on one, two, three, four, five. And now six. Inhale on one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale on one, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale on one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale on one, two, three, four, five, six. And then just take a minute to observe in your body. Just notice what's happening. What are your sensations? What are you noticing in different parts of the body? And then see if you can start to bring more of that breath fullness into the poses. So interlock the fingers behind the head and then inhale the knees and straighten up. Exhale, bring the knees straighten down. And again, see as you're breathing, whether you can really feel how you widen, lengthen, and bulge in the breath. When you exhale, everything comes into the center. Or you can just focus on a really big inhale when you bring the knees in, straighten the legs, and then a really long exhale when you bend the knees, placing the feet on the floor. So each movement has either the inhale or the exhale. And then um, we tend to do the breath in like a one way. So the next time you bring the knees in, can you exhale the knees in as you straighten it up? And then inhale as you bend the knees down to the floor. And again, exhale as you straighten the knees up. And then inhale as you bend the knees, place the feet on the floor. So now you can go in either direction with that. You can exhale the legs up or you can inhale the legs up. And each might find a different way of supporting you in this pose. and then keep the legs straight in the air. And you can either keep the hands underneath or you can uh, extend them over your head. And now we're gonna exhale, lower the legs to the floor, inhale up. Now, of course, if you need to just make less movement, you know, you can just do little ones. But if you feel like you've got the energy you can really hover it to the floor when you exhale. Inhale up. Exhale them down. Inhale up. Exhale them down. Inhale up. Now just have a couple of breaths here. We're going to do it the opposite. We're going to 
inhale them down and exhale them up. So <laughs> you almost have to like <laughs> get yourself reoriented, take an inhale. Let's see, what did I say we we're gonna do? Okay, inhale them down. So as you inhale them down, exhale them up. Inhale the legs down, exhale the legs up. Inhale the legs down and exhale the legs up. And one more, inhale them down and exhale them up. And then just bend the knees there. And then just let your breath be natural, however that is, and just notice that. And then roll over to your side and come up to all fours. And again, um, we'll play, you know, there's a way that we normally do the cat and the, the dog tilt or the cat and the cow stretch as some people refer to it. And we're gonna do that in the, in the way that we normally do it. And then we'll reverse the breath. So we're gonna, Exhale as we round the spine up. Inhale as we look up into cats or dog, wait, dog tilt. Exhale into cat tilt. Inhale into dog tilt. Exhale into cat tilt. Inhale to dog tilt. One more this way. Exhale into cat tilt. And inhale into dog tilt. Now, what if we reverse this? <laughs> so we're gonna um, inhale, exhale. So we'll inhale, rounding into cat, and we'll exhale into dog tilt. We'll inhale into cat tilt. Am I doing it wrong? Exhale into dog tilt. No, that's the right way. Inhale as we round the spine up into cat. Exhale as we come round up into dog tilt. Inhale as we round. Exhale as we come back into dog tilt. Now come just into neutral and we'll take a couple of breaths into big top, big, big toes together, knees wide. And then I want to take us through another round of that cat and dog. And we're just going to hold the breath for a few seconds and you just need to do this that it works for you. So we'll start with the traditional inhale up, exhale, rounding forward. So we're gonna exhale it and round in the cap and then just hold the breath for a couple of seconds. And then inhale, come in the other way. And when you get to the top of that inhale, hold for a couple of seconds. And then exhale. Hold for a few seconds. Inhale, hold the breath. And then one more cycle, exhale, hold the breath. Inhale, and then hold, pause, and then come back to neutral and go back into big toes together, knees wide for a couple of breaths. We'll reverse it in the next one. So 
when you hold, when you, I shouldn't say hold the breath, when you pause, essentially you're just taking a little bit longer where you have a full breath. And then of course, when you pause on the exhale, it means that your lungs are empty and you're taking a pause there. So let's try the opposite. So we're going to uh, inhale when we round the spine to cat. So inhale, rounding the spine, holding it. Exhale into dog tilt. Pause the breath at the end of the breath. Inhale, rounding the spine, pausing the breath there. Exhale, into dog tilt, pause the breath at the end. One last time, rounding as you inhale the breath. Pause. Exhale. Dog tilt, pause. And then just come back to neutral spine. And this time, you might want to walk the hands a little forward, tuck the toes, and go into a downward facing dog. And go ahead and just Give yourself a little bit of walk in the dog just to warm up the legs here. You can shake a little bit through the head and the neck if that helps. And then again, go down into big toes together. Knees wide for a couple of breaths. And then inhale, coming up. You can bring the hands a little bit forward if that helps you in your downward dog. You can tuck the toes under. And this time come into full downward dog if you can. Really lifting those thighs. Sit bones up to the ceiling. And then I'll just count you through a couple of rounds of breath. Remember, if you can't do it, you can always go into big toes, get knees wide if there's too much tension in the shoulders. Take an inhale on one, two, three, four. Exhale on one, two, three, four. Inhale on one, two, three, four. Exhale on one, two, three, four. Inhale on one, two, three, four. Exhale on one, two, three, four. And then bring the knees down again and go into big toes together, knees wide. And then inhale into all fours and just swing that right foot forward and just bring the hands on that thigh. And see if at first you can really feel that length in the breath when you come up, see if you can feel that Lengthening the breath, I'm just using my hands as a little demo. See if you can feel the widening in the breath and see if you can feel that forward and backwards in the breath as if it was like a balloon as you breathe. And then start to lunge forward. And then see if you can tuck the back toes under and come into warrior 
one pose if that works for your body right now or you can keep your hands here or you can bring the arms up and then see if you can inhale on one two three four exhale on one two three four inhale on one two three four exhale on one two three four inhale on one two three four exhale on one two three four and then bring the hands down bring that back knee down fingers down next to you swing that leg back and then when your next inhale comes you can swing that left leg forward and again first bring the hands on the thigh and see if you can feel that length in your breath that width in your breath that forward and back in your breath and then you can lunge forward for a few breaths then tuck the back foot under come into lunge warrior warrior one and then you can bring the arms up if that feels right to you and inhale on one two three four exhale on one two three four inhale on one two three four exhale on one two three four inhale on one two three four exhale on one two three four and bring the hands back to the thigh back leg down hands next to your foot and you can either go into big toes together knees wide or come into a downward dog whichever one feels restful to you and then again bring the knees back down swing the right leg between the feet and this time you're going to tuck the toes under and bring that heel down see if you can really stabilize the legs and then bring the upper body up and then you can warrior two pose fear of Vajrasana two so you can look over that front hand and inhale on one two three four exhale on one two three four inhale on one two three four exhale on one two three four inhale on one two three four exhale on one two three four and then bring the hands back around drop the back knee hands next to the foot swing that leg back and then swing the left foot between the hands tuck the toes of that right foot up bring the heel down really firm up those legs and then bring that upper body up into Virabhadrasana two warrior two and then inhale on one, two, three, four. Exhale on one, two, three, four. Inhale on one, two, three, four. Exhale on one, two, three, four. 
exhale on one, two, three, four. Inhale on one, two, three, four. Exhale on one, two, three, four. And then bring the hands around. Drop the knee down, hands next to the foot. Now you can either go into big toes together, knees wide. You can even do a couple of cat and dog, or you can go into a downward facing dog. A couple of breaths here. And then come back onto all fours. Swing that right foot between your hands. Take the back leg, tuck the toes under, heel down. This time bring the forearm on the thigh. And of course, whatever's gonna work for you in this position today, you can bring the top arm up and over. Great, you may need to leave it down or behind and holding on to the thigh or the back, whatever works for you. And inhale on one, two, three, four. Exhale on one, two, three, four. Inhale on one, two, three, four. Exhale on one, two, three, four. Inhale on one, two, three, four. Exhale on one, two, three, four. Then pivot around, dropping that back knee. Bring the right knee through, then swing the left foot through. Tuck the toes of the right foot with the heel down. Then you can bring the forearm on the thigh, arm can stay here, come around or up and over wherever you are today. Inhale on one, two, three, four. Exhale on one, two, three, four. Inhale on one, two, three, four. Exhale on one, two, three, four. Inhale on one, two, three, four. Exhale on one, two, three, four. And then bringing the hands back around, dropping that knee back, coming into all fours, cat and dog, or big toes together, knees wide, or downward dog for a couple of breaths here. And bring the knees down. We'll do one more standing pose. Swing the right foot between the hands. Uh, tuck the back toes under, heel down. And then slowly straighten the front leg as you uncurl into you teach Trigonasana extended triangle pose. And you know, again, your top arm can stay down if that's what you need, or it can go up. And inhale on one, two, three, four. Exhale on one, two, three, four. Inhale on one, two, three, four. Exhale on one, two, three, four. Inhale on one, two, three, four. Exhale on one, two, three, four. And then bring the hand down, bend the front leg, drop the back knee, swing the right leg through. Now bring the left leg through, pivot, and bring that 
tucking those toes under, pivoting the heel. Slowly straighten the legs. And then the top arm can stay down or go up. Inhale on one, two, three, four. Exhale on one, two, three, four. Inhale on one, two, three, four. Exhale on one, two, three, four. Inhale on one, two, three, four. Exhale on one, two, three, four. And then pivot around, drop the back knee, bring that leg through and big toes together, knees wide, or you can come into downward dog and just have a few breaths there. And then you can bring your knees down and come into sitting and we'll just go into a, a little bit of a restful release here. So we'll come into clam pose. So you can bring your feet more forward. And if you need something, you can, if you can make fists and put your head on the fist, that's great. If you need like a pillow for your head, just go there, you know, whatever works for you, whatever you've got handy. And just give yourself a nice big rounded spine here. And we'll do a couple of rounds of breath so you can inhale on one, two, three, four. Exhale on one, two, three, four. Inhale on one, two, three, four. Exhale on one, two, three, four. Inhale on one, two, three, four. Exhale on one, two, three, four. Now we'll move into five. Inhale on one, two, three, four, five. Exhale on one, two, three, four, five. Inhale on one, two, three, four, five. Exhale on one, two, three, four, five. Inhale on one, two, three, four, five. Exhale on one, two, three, four, five. And then just stay there for another few breaths. Inhale, slowly coming up. You can do feet up on a chair, feet up on the wall, or you can just go into laying in Shavasana. Get yourself settled into whatever position you are in. And then let's just see if we can count some longer exhales, we won't worry about the inhales, but we'll count some long, a couple of long exhales. So take an inhale and then exhale on one, two, three, four. 
take an inhale and again exhale on one two three four now we're going to lengthen the exhale so take an inhale and exhale on one two three four five And then take an inhale and exhale on one, two, three, four, five. And take an inhale and then we'll do six. Exhale on one, two, three, four, five, six. Take an inhale, and again, exhale on one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, if you want to extend it even further, you can do that for a few rounds, or you can just completely let go of the breath practice. Just become aware of your breath in your nostrils. And can you feel that rhythm? elsewhere in your body. you're exhaling in your nostrils, can you feel the whole sinus area soften, sinuses run around the nose, the cheeks, the forehead, temples, the jaw, can you feel that whole area soften as you exhale? space between your ears wide as you inhale and exhale through your nostrils. And can you feel your jaw and chin soften? As you inhale and exhale through your nostrils. And I'm going to read another little poem from this book that I got about the story of every flower. You have never, not even for one second, been anything less than beautiful. Take these words into every cell in your being until you embody this truth. 
The world needs you to honor and love yourself. You don't have gifts. You are the gift. You have never, not even for one second, been anything less than beautiful. Take these words into every cell in your being until you embody this truth. The world needs you to honor and love yourself. You don't have gifts. You are the gift. Namaste. Thank you for watching and joining us. slowly begin to reawaken your body, bringing a bit of movement to your feet and hands, and stretching Namaste. if you need Thank to, you or watching and joining us. And then you can roll to your right side and come up to sitting. And I'll just show you the, this book. It's called The Story of Every Flower by Carrie Schmidt. It's really gorgeous. The pictures, the paintings in it are just fantastic. And then the words. So I'm just going to be looking every week now to find something beautiful to read to you. You are the gift. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you for watching and joining us.